I am too small for this place. <sighs> Quick, I found three AI models that, if you follow the steps I'm going to show you today, will let you create videos for free and basically without limits. You'll get the same kind of quality as models like Sora and Vio. You'll be able to create several minutes of video from a single prompt. And finally, I'll show you a tool that lets you create content with no restrictions and no censorship. On top of that, I'm also going to give you a tool that can remove watermarks from your videos and images, even when the logo is moving across the screen, so your projects actually look professional. These models are extremely powerful, but as we know, over time, they can get limited. So it's really important that you follow every step in this video so you can squeeze out all their potential before that happens. And to make it even easier, in the Discord linked in the description, I'm giving you a completely free PDF with all the links and prompts for the tools we're using today. Plus, the best tricks and AIs we never show on the channel, including that watermark remover. At the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how to get it. Alright, let's not waste more time. Let's start with the first model, Gemini Gen AI. With this AI, you can generate videos with Sora and Vio completely free and basically unlimited if you follow this trick. Because as you can see, it uses a credit system. Don't panic when you see the little credit counter. We're going to turn it into a joke. First, create an account and sign in with Google or whatever is easiest for you. And if the page asks you to verify your email, do it so you don't lose any of your generations later. Once you're inside, you'll see the main interface already set to video creation mode, and it will ask you to pick a model. Choose the Sora model, specifically Sora 2, because that's the one that gives you the best balance between quality and speed here. If you scroll down, you'll see several options. You can pick the resolution, choose whether you want a horizontal or vertical video, depending on if you're thinking about YouTube or shorts. And you'll see the big prompt box where you describe what you want to generate. Try to be specific here. Who is in the scene? What's happening? What kind of camera movement or mood you want? Now here's the trick that makes this whole thing worth it. If you set the video duration to 10 seconds, look at how the interface tells you that the number of credits used will be zero. It literally drops to zero. That means as long as you keep it at 10 seconds, each generation is completely free and effectively unlimited. And it gets better because there's a small bug we can take advantage of. If you keep this exact configuration and switch over from Sora to the VO option, specifically the VO3 model, it also shows zero credits. So right now, you can use both Sora and VO like this without spending anything. So the flow is simple. Pick the video model you want, choose vertical or horizontal, write your detailed prompt and hit generate. Let it process and look at how it works. The result Sora gives us is ultra realistic and follows the instructions almost perfectly, even with just one prompt. You know, everyone thinks AI is some cold thing, lines of code humming in a box. But watch it weave patterns, predict lifts in the wind like I'm doing now. But Malva, it only gives 720p. That's not great quality for YouTube. Okay, here's another tip. If you switch to the VO model, keep the same resolution settings and keep VO 3.1 fast selected. Then write your prompt and aspect ratio again. If you set it to horizontal, it lets you generate 1080p videos while still using zero credits per video. That means you can use one of Google's most powerful video models for free, in full HD, as many times as you want. Look at the result it gives us. The integration of artificial intelligence is not merely technological advancement. It is the evolution of consciousness itself. Now we have that same cinematic quality, but ready to upload directly to YouTube without looking blurry. And if you feel the AI isn't really listening to you, or it keeps changing the style too much, this model has an advanced generation mode that gives you way more control. If you click the Advanced button, it opens a form with different fields. There you can specify the key characteristics you want your video to have. The overall style, the pacing, how dynamic the camera should be, the mood, the environment. Take a moment to fill in every field with the details you actually care about instead of leaving them empty. Then hit Generate. Look at how it analyzes every single detail you gave it and returns something that sticks much closer to your description. It feels less like a random clip and more like a shot you actually directed. This works with both VO and Sora. So while it stays free, you should take advantage of it to generate all kinds of videos with no limit and no cost. So now you have ultra-realistic 10-second clips in full HD for free, with fine control if you want it. AI influencers are already earning money without even existing. And if you're into AI tools, this can be one of the easiest side hustles you start this year. The idea is simple. Instead of putting your own face everywhere, you use AI to generate a digital character that posts for you. 
With tools like Picasso or similar generators, you upload a reference image, describe the style you want, and in about a minute, you've got a full AI persona producing photos and short videos ready to schedule. Where it actually turns into income is on FanView. You create a creator account, tell the platform that you're an AI creator, choose the type of content you want to publish, set a monthly subscription price for fans, and start uploading your AI influencer content so people can subscribe and support you. And if you don't know where to start, FanView has a complete step-by-step -step training called the FanView AI Creator Academy. If you want the full free course that shows you step-by-step -step how to start and earn with your own AI influencer, click the link in the description or pinned comment. Sign up free today at the FanView AI Creator Academy. Next, we're going to turn those kinds of generations into full two-minute stories without breaking the visual flow. Now that you can farm short, high-quality clips, let's fix the main problem, duration. That's where MovieFlow AI comes in. One of the most annoying things when you try to generate videos with AI is that everything stops at 10 seconds. Every time you try to tell a three-minute story in 10-second chunks, the visual thread just breaks, and it feels more like a slideshow than a scene. Shots don't connect, characters change slightly, and the whole thing looks cheap. MovieFlow AI is built to fix exactly that. With it, you can generate videos of up to two minutes per generation, for free and basically unlimited. And by chaining a few of those together, you can build full movies in just a handful of generations. Let me show you how to use it properly so you don't waste time. First, choose the duration. You can ask for one or two minutes, depending on how big your idea is. Then, pick the language you want for your video. In my case, I'm going to choose English. And the format, horizontal if you're thinking of YouTube, or vertical if you want it for shorts, TikTok, or Reels. On top of that, this app lets you upload your own assets, in case you want to keep using the same characters you always use on your channel, or a specific logo or environment. That's perfect if you're building a series and you want everything to look consistent from episode to episode. Once that's set, just write a prompt with the story you want to generate and click Create. Again, be clear. What happens at the beginning, what changes in the middle, and how you want it to end. It will build the full one or two minute video for you in a few simple steps. I'll warn you now. This AI does export with a watermark, but I've also found a solution for that, and in a moment, I'll show you a tool that removes watermarks from your videos and images, even when the watermark is moving across the screen. You're going to need it for this model and for anything else you generate in the future, so stay with me. Once the video is ready, you'll see you now have a multi-minute piece instead of six or eight disconnected tiny clips. They said it was a place of death. But it took her life I am too small for this place As you scrub through, you'll notice the story stays consistent The characters remain the same, the lighting doesn't jump wildly, and the camera movement feels like one continuous scene and one thing I love about this tool is that it automatically adds sound or music that matches what's happening in each scene. More intense when there's action, softer when it's calm, which saves you a ton of time in post-production. For a lot of simple projects, you can literally skip the editing software and just use what the AI gives you. It's perfect if you want to automate any kind of video work, because used like this, it's free and essentially unlimited. But Malva, what if I've generated a two-minute clip that I love, except in one part, the AI hallucinated and created something weird I don't like? Do I have to throw away the whole video and generate again? No, and this is where movie flow becomes even more powerful. If you close the preview, you'll see the project in a timeline-style editor, broken into individual clips. From here, you can do a lot of things without losing the rest of your work. You can delete a single bad shot without touching the rest of the video. You can replace that specific shot with a new generation that fits better. Or, if you only want one of the clips for a trailer, a short, or a social media teaser, you can download each clip individually. That gives you full control over how you use the project, and lets you recycle the best moments in different formats. And if the story feels like it's missing a moment in the middle, like something didn't feel complete, or a transition feels too abrupt, you can click the little plus icon between two clips. The tool analyzes how the previous clip ends and how the next one begins, and then creates a new clip that fits between them as smoothly as possible. It's perfect if you want to expand your narrative, add a reaction shot, or slow things down without rewriting the whole prompt. So with Gemini Gen, you get perfect, high-quality 10-second shots. And with MovieFlow, you can stitch everything into longer, coherent scenes that already come with audio. The only real problem now is the watermark, and we're going to remove that in a clean way. Now here's another trick you're going to love. 
As you saw, the result looks amazing, but the watermark is really annoying, and if you want your video to look professional, you can't leave it there. It screams AI demo instead of finished content. So, let me show you the tool that works both for this AI and for the next one, which generates uncensored videos but also adds a watermark, and will remove that with no problem. The link to this watermark remover is in the free PDF inside my Discord, same place as all the other links and prompts from today's video, so you don't have to remember the name or search for it later. Once you're in the watermark tool, the steps are simple. First, upload the video where you want to remove the logo. Wait for it to process, then turn on the mobile option. Now scrub through the clip. Every time you see the watermark, use the selection box the tool gives you to mark it. When the watermark moves to a different corner, changes size, or fades in and out, just drag the box over it again so the tool knows it's still the same thing. Go frame by frame or every few frames until you've covered all the places where the watermark appears. It only takes a few seconds once you get used to it. When you've done that for the whole video, hit process and let the AI do its thing. Look at the result. I am too small for this place. All the watermarks disappear cleanly, with no weird artifacts, no ghost logos, and no blurry areas where the watermark used to be. Your video instantly looks way more professional than having a big logo constantly on screen. The best part is that this works on any video you generate from any tool, not just MovieFlow, so I'm sure you're going to get a ton of value from it for future projects as well. And now that we've solved quality, duration, and watermark problems, let's talk about what you can do when every popular model starts blocking your prompts. And for those moments when every popular model blocks your prompts, this last tool runs on its own servers with almost no filters. It lets you generate video with almost no censorship and almost no restrictions because it runs its own models on its own infrastructure instead of relying on the usual big providers. That means it doesn't have the same strict safety filters as the famous ones, so I'm going to ask you to be extra responsible with what you generate. Seriously, no excuses. If you respect that, you'll have a tool that can handle almost any kind of content, including ideas that normal platforms would never let you test. You can create both videos and images here. We'll start with images, because that's usually the first step in a lot of workflows. Choose the Flux 2 Pro model. Ask it to generate an image. It can be based on a real person, a character, a product, or whatever idea you have in mind. Pick the resolution and aspect ratio that best matches where you're going to use it, and you can even upload a reference image if you want the model to stay close to a specific face or design. Then click Generate and let it work. You'll see it doesn't consume credits for that generation, but don't worry. I'll show you a trick to get infinite credits a bit later, so you won't have to be afraid of experimenting. Once you have your image, you can run whatever tests you want, and you'll see it generates with almost no restrictions. Styles that other models refuse, outfits they blur, poses they block, here most of that goes through. It can even handle more adult themes, but we're obviously not going to show that in this video, and you should always use it in a responsible way, respecting laws and platforms where you upload the final result. The important thing is that you finally have a space where the model doesn't stop you every two seconds because of content filters. Now let's turn that image into a video. In the menu on the left, select the Image to Video option and upload the image you want to transform. Choose the duration of the video. The longer you make it, the more credits it will use. But remember, I'll show you how to replenish credits in a moment, so don't worry too much about testing different lengths. Decide how many different videos you want it to generate in one go, and write a prompt describing in detail what you want that image to transform into, how the camera moves, what the character does, if something in the background changes, the overall mood. The clearer you are here, the less you'll have to regenerate later. Once everything is configured the way you like, hit Generate. You'll see it creates a super high-quality video, exactly matching what you asked for, and again, with almost no restrictions, which is what makes this platform insanely powerful. You can use it for more experimental shots, for music videos, for concepts that you'll later tone down in editing, whatever you need. It will also add a watermark, but we can remove it with the tool I showed you earlier, so that part is already solved. And Malva, how do you get unlimited credits here? Very simple. In the top right, you'll see a referral bonus option. With that, you can invite other people to join the platform. What we're going to do is create a new account and sign up using our own referral link. Each time you do this, the new account gets 150 credits to play with right away, and the original account that shared the link gets 30 extra credits on top. So if you keep creating new signups with your link, or you invite your friends and tell them to actually use it, you can stack a lot of credits very fast and basically turn this into a little credit farm. Whenever one account runs low, you just repeat the process or switch to another account with fresh credits. 
Even so, if you don't feel like playing with referrals all day or managing multiple accounts, remember the first two tools I showed in this video are already completely free and unlimited when you follow the method I gave you. With Gemini Gen, you get high quality Sora and VO clips for zero credits. And with MovieFlow, you can turn those ideas into two minute stories with music, then clean them with the watermark remover. You can create all the content you want using just those workflows and use this last tool only when you need that extra freedom. All right, and as I promised at the beginning of the video, if you want the free PDF with direct links to all the tools we use today, the prompts, extra guides, and secrets we never show on the channel, here's how to get it. Go to the Discord in the description, open the bot PDF channel, and send a message to the bot. The bot will DM you automatically. In that chat, send the link to the video you want the PDF for. Yes, we have one PDF for every single video on the channel, so over time, you'll build a whole library of workflows. Once the bot has accepted that link, it will automatically send you the PDF for that video, with all the links, prompts, and extra tools you need to repeat everything step by step. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!